Hello, ostensible audience, and welcome to the eighth day of Too Long Didn't Scroll. We have now gone over a week of daily, quick, and listenable news updates on noteworthy world events. Get your day started with a refresher on the news you may not have wanted to scroll over yesterday, and go back to the catalog to find out anything that may have happened on any day from January 20th, 2023, and onwards. We start off our eighth episode on the day of January 27th, 2023 centering back on the decades-old conflict between Israel and Palestine, after an Israeli military raid into a Janine refugee camp left 20 Palestinian civilians dead. We first center on the city of Jerusalem, specifically the Palestinian-controlled East Jerusalem. At around 8.13 p.m. local time on Holocaust Remembrance Day, a Palestinian gunman barged into a local synagogue and opened fire on Israeli civilians inside. Current reports stand at around seven dead and three wounded. The gunman was later killed by police. The Islamist nationalist group Hamas has claimed responsibility and hailed the brutal attack as a response to the raid in Jenin, a sentiment added to by the Palestinian Islamic Jihad movement. We subsequently zero in on the Gaza region, near the border of Israel and Egypt. Throughout the conflict, intense fighting has occurred involving numerous rocket attacks, airstrikes, and a gathering of other players including Egypt, Qatar, and Turkey. Since 2001, the Gaza region and southern Israel have been the subject of numerous airstrikes on Israeli infrastructure by Palestinian militants, with one recent strike having happened earlier today, though no casualties were reported. This, however, did attract the attention of Israeli forces, who dispatched fighter jets to launch a series of airstrikes on numerous facilities and infrastructure, including a rocket base and a Hamas facility. The conflict in Gaza in its current iteration so far has raged on since 2006 and claimed over 3,000 lives. We move across the Middle East to the country of Iran, which has had a history of chilly relations with the Western Asian country of Azerbaijan. Tensions escalated today in the wake of a violent attack on the Azerbaijani embassy in the Iranian capital of Tehran, when around 8 a.m. local time, an Iranian gunman broke into the facility with an assault rifle and opened fire on the employees, killing the facility's head of security and injuring two additional guards. The Azerbaijani government has denounced the attack as an act of terrorism and claims Iran for running, quote-unquote, anti-Azerbaijan campaigns, which encourage negative sentiments against the country. The embassy has since been evacuated. While the perpetrator's motive has yet to have been confirmed, both Azerbaijan and Iran have announced investigations into the incident. Moving down under to the country of Australia, Western Australian Health Authority is warning the population of Western Australia that a 6mm by 8mm capsule of radioactive cesium-137, commonly used for mining purposes, has disappeared from a transport truck along a 1,400km or 870-mile stretch of highway between the towns of Newman and Malaga. Civilians and motorists have been warned to check their tire treads if the capsule became stuck within them, and to stay at least 5 meters away from the capsule to prevent serious health consequences, and are advised to call the Department of Fire and Energy Services at 133-337 if spotted. Moving to the other Oceanian country of New Zealand, the country's largest city, Auckland, has been struggling with a wave of flash flooding since 9 a.m. local time. On a day of unprecedented rainstorms, floods crashed through the city, destroying several homes and causing the closure of major highways as well as Auckland International Airport. The city is now under a state of emergencies, as thousands have been forced to flee their homes or evacuate from their areas, and the floods so far, which are expected to get worse through the coming week, have claimed three lives. Two additional people are currently missing. Concerning economic matters, the trade war between China and the Western world, primarily America, has reached a new development today. America has banned the sale of several vital parts to China to reduce advanced semiconductor chips with the intent of choking China's valuable technology industry and decreasing Western dependence on it. As of today, the European Commissioner for Internal Market, Thierry Breton, has announced it will be following suit in such an action, declaring that they cannot allow China to access the most advanced technologies, as Taiwan's semiconductor chip industry is starting to pick up steam. In other news, an investigation on the Doma chemical attack that occurred in 2018 in the midst of the Syrian civil war has concluded that the chemical attack that killed 40 to 50 people was in fact carried out by the Syrian military. A deal between the countries of South Africa and India will see the former send 12 cheetahs to India each year for the next 8 to 10 years in an effort to help grow its wild cheetah population. And the Customs and Excise Department of Hong Kong has announced that all products containing cannabidiol, a common product in cannabis plants, will be banned the coming February and will be treated the same as heroin and cocaine.